This video is brought to you by PureVPN. Hi guys, it's ASBYT and today, due to very popular demand, we're going to be covering the brand new smartphone. Throne? The brand new smartphone from Meizu. It's a phone that promises many things. It will potentially beat Apple to the punch. But the question is, will it deliver? So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Right, so ladies and gents, today is a pretty big video and it's one that's been heavily requested right across my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. It is a smartphone and the actual device in question is the Meizu Zero. It's a concept phone that as far as Meizu are concerned anyway, is going to go into production. I believe it's available to view on Indiegogo and it's a phone that has no ports and no buttons. So many questions so little time. Remember guys, there's about three days left on our smartphone giveaway, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. I am giving it away. Go over to my Instagram, ASB underscore YT. Look for the post on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 and all the information about how you can enter to win that smartphone are there. Go after this video, of course. So of course, the whole idea of a, a wireless, portless, kind of future has been something that Apple have been striving for ever since they got rid of the headphone jack. Many other companies have been trying to go in this direction as well. How practical it is, is another matter, but you certainly can't deny that trend. And as I've said, Meizu have done it first. Now, although this is a concept phone, it is actually a working device. There are people who have been hands-on with the product, and there are many people that are very excited, but there are also many people that are thinking, this surely just won't work. First of all, the headphone jack lovers, and eh, you weren't gonna get one for obvious reasons. Also, the people who are skeptical about the abilities of wireless charging, again, that is gonna be the only option. Now, apparently this wireless charging is going to be able to produce up to 18 watts fast charging, which would make it the world's fastest fast charging wireless charger. That did make sense, trust me. Until the world as a whole kind of comes around to the idea of having fully wireless charging surfaces like tables, for example, I think it's going to be more of a drawback than a benefit personally, especially when products that have, of course, a charging port can still be IP68 water and dust resistant. So I, again, I don't really see the benefit. The Meizu Zero will be IP68 water and dust resistant. In terms of things like the power button, the volume rocker, there simply isn't going to be any. In their place, there's going to be touch capacitive buttons with haptic feedback, and it's going to feel very much like using an actual real button, but of course, you're not gonna have one. Similar to what we've seen on some of the Samsung products, and similar to things like the Squeeze voice assistant on the Pixel 3. Now, straight away, I know what you're thinking, well, where am I gonna put my SIM card if there are no ports? And well, it will have an eSIM. Now, this is something that has been experimented with before on other devices. Well, now this is gonna be the only way of using this phone. Now, the fact that you can only use eSIM also creates the first sort of major, major problem potentially for this smartphone and that is the fact that there are still a lot of carriers and a lot of countries that don't support this method and therefore it would make this phone pretty much unavailable for those regions and yeah. Now the missing speakers are going to be compensated by the device using a piezoelectric acoustic technology. Try saying that five times. And this basically allows sound to be transferred through the display kind of in vibration form. So we don't actually need traditional speakers. Now, of course, this technology isn't new. It was used in the Xiaomi Mi Mix 1, for example, but even Xiaomi themselves decided to do away with that when designing their future Mix devices. Meizu obviously state that the actual technology behind this has improved vastly over the last few years and creates a better product as a whole because of it. Now, the phone has a 5.99 inch OLED display Display, in display fingerprint sensor, dual camera setup on the rear, and although currently a great SOC in the Snapdragon 845, it's gonna be old in about a month, so that's a little bit of a shame. We would have liked to have seen them go with the 855, but it might just not be financially viable for them right now. Now, of course, Meizu are looking to do this to create the complete seamless product. Now, just one little point about this portless, buttonless phone. There are two tiny holes at the bottom. Shh, we'll forget that. And while I think it generally looks like a very nice device, I could see it kind of working, but whether I feel losing the ports and the buttons is enough of an upside to kind of take away from some of the practicality issues, 
I'm not so sure. While I get the whole seamless design idea, very appeasing on the eye, I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't go with the sort of full bezel-less display that we've seen on the Oppo Find X, for example. So overall, I think that the Meizu Zero is a nice idea in principle, a great concept. Is there currently a gap in the market for this product? Um, in case you didn't know what that noise was, it meant oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Having said that, I think for Meizu, it's win-win because either the device comes out and the hype surrounding it is lived up to by sales, which I doubt, but you never know, or it doesn't quite work, but their name is still being pushed out further than it was before. Looking to build their brand for the future more than that one specific product. We've seen that from the likes of Royoli, for example, with the FlexPi, the first bendable, foldable smartphone, which in my opinion doesn't really work as a product, but they were the first. They beat Samsung, they beat Huawei, and their name is well and truly out there. And when they bring out another product, you will have probably heard of them. Here's where you guys come in. Let me know what you think of the Meizu Zero in the comments section below. Is it something that you're very interested in? Do you like the idea of a zero port, zero button phone, or do you think it's completely unnecessary? Or are you somewhere in between? Now this video is brought to you by PureVPN. It helps you secure your connection on apps which are available on all the major platforms from hackers, trackers, like when you're using public Wi-Fi in hotels, when you go abroad, for example, they can stop people from stealing your data. It also allows you to unblock content, for example, on Netflix or Amazon Prime or BBC iPlayer. Now in my experience, PureVPN has not only been fast and reliable, but if you use the link in the video description below, it is at an incredibly affordable price. There's a 31 day money back guarantee so if you're looking for a vpn you've got absolutely nothing to lose like and share if you did enjoy this video and find it helpful subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time i post a video you are notified follow me on twitter and instagram asb underscore yt for all that behind the scenes goodness that you just don't get here on youtube i love you leave you i'll see you in the next one asb yt peace out